Good morning, children. Let us study common fractions. Today, the topic which we have taken is equivalent fractions. So, I'm going to explain you first with the help of definition. It is defined as fraction that may have different numerators and denominators, but they represent the same value. So, you must be thinking with different numerators and denominators, how the fraction can represent the same value. They can. Let us see with the help of an example. Here, you can see 9 by 12 is written and 6 by 8 is written. They are equivalent fraction because both are equal to 3 by 4. So, with the help of another example, I will be explaining you why they are equal to 3 by 4. See children, with the help of diagram, it is easier for you to understand. Here, this diagram is showing 1 by 2, that means half. And here again, it is showing 4 parts, that means 2 parts are shaded, so we can write 2 by 4. And when you will compare these two diagrams, you will see that Half is shaded over here. Again half is shaded over here. So with the help of the diagram you can make out they are equivalent fraction. Again when you will divide this by 2. That means numerator is divided by 2 and denominator is divided by 2. You will get 1 by 2. Let us see another example children. Here, four circles as you can see over here. The first one represent half. The second one represent 2 by 4 because four parts are there. The third represent 3 by 6 because six parts are there. And the fourth one represents 4 by 8 because eight parts are there. Total 8 parts are there. And you can see 1 is shaded. So 1 by 2 we have written. 2 are shaded. So we have written 2 by 4. Here 3 are shaded. So we have written 3 by 6. And here 4 are shaded. So we have written 4 by 8. And when you will compare the circles. You will see half of the circle is shaded. Here also second diagram also. Third diagram also and fourth diagram also. So, we can make out that yes, they are all equivalent fractions. Then, you are going to divide it with same number. For example, let us divide this whole fraction with 2. Numerator divided by 2, denominator divided by 2, you will get half. That means 1 by 2. When this fraction you will divide it with 3, you will get again half. This fraction when you will divide it with 4, you will get again half. So, this proves that they all are equivalent fractions. So, here children, the same example has been given. I hope this example is clear and you have understood what is equivalent fraction. Thank you children for watching this video.